Apprentice, you've reached Narshada safely. Good. Don't let the glittering towers fool you. Misery and desperation rule the slums below. And desperation can drive people to many things. Remember that in your attempts to recover the artifact here. You believe I can use these people's hopelessness against them? Their need for answers should serve you well. The artifact, a pendant called the Eye of Tulak, belongs to the Sith Lord Palladius. He's lived here many years, converting Narshadar's poor and suffering into zealous followers. His own cult. He sounds like a very cunning man. I admire that. Cunning, devious, persuasive, yes. And atrociously stubborn. Palladius leads his cult from seclusion, but you can draw him out. I've contacted two of his former cult members. They're in hiding now, fearing retribution, but hungry for revenge. They should prove useful. How did you convince these fools to help? I have encouraged their cooperation with the assurance that once Palladius is gone, the cult is theirs to lead. Circumstances change, of course. Do whatever you feel is necessary with Palladius and his cult. The artifact is all that matters. Back soon. Aja, aja! Ponu in Saka, where son from? Ipsik er by Kudana, Jaus er by Rojandan, in Bise Wistai. I'm glad you're so happy. Was in Amin, in Apidai Daje, fewer Tigons Frysons. Mat in Sokja, Iman Kudana, Ja Ion Pro Kumana. Pai Power Jus, Ja Af Apidun, Pataja Sungadras. Continue to follow me, and I promise those days will return. In Sokja, Himan Gundana da Ayupro. Und in Amagas Kapana, Warpan, Himinam Arpai Pohav Nona.
needed me. Helping. me around later. Oh, Destress, dear brutish Destress. And Riley, so beautiful and intelligent. You were like children to me, which is why it pains me to do this. You can cut the act, Palladius. You never cared about any of your children. We don't need a tyrant for a father. Ah, well said. Marvelous last words. Truly, I expected nothing less, which is what makes this so hard. Now, if you'll excuse me, my other children would like to play with you. Sometimes I impress myself. <laughs> Not a problem. What have we here? The cavalry looks like. I appreciate the help, but I had it under control. Easy, Destris. This isn't some holo you're talking to. My lord. You would be wise to follow her lead. Of course, my lord. Sorry. There was a lady Sith a while back, Darth Sash. Said she'd send someone to help us out. You it? Peleus has something I need. And if helping you will get it for me, then yes. Good, because it makes me sick to think Palladius is out there while I'm cooped up in this rat hole. Palladius built his empire on the backs of the poor. Said he'd save them from their miserable lives. Said we'd make a, what's it, a mighty sword and strike against our enemies? It was all lies. It was all lies, but you win the support of the poor, you knock Palladius' legs out from under him. The masses will worship me by dawn. Get him the way Palladius did. Find the biggest, most vicious gang on the block and crush them. Right now, the gang's the Crates, named after the Crate Dragon on Tatooine. Their leader, Sabin, thinks he's descended from one. Take out Sabin, and the masses will see you as a regular hero. And when another gang rises to take the crate's place? You're right. Taking out the crates wins you followers only until the next gang rises up. But there may be another way. A plague called the Rot afflicts the poorest of Narshada's poor. But it can be cured, and the person who does so will be regarded not just as a hero, but as a prophet. What exactly does this entail? The cure to the Rot is owned by Titus Neutronics. You'll have to steal it from their warehouse, then distribute it. In this case, I'd rather be loved than feared. Good, but be careful. The warehouse is heavily guarded, but if you can steal the cure and distribute it in the Corellian sector, you'll own the Laurel classes. <laughs>
going to like this. I'm Bodichi Ola Tutolinia. Easy. Yang yang, but I see the pingy chuck. Pads are currently open for business. learning some tricks. Nothing personal. myself. Nothing personal. You're going to like this. Just what the doctor ordered. Too easy. 
Lady. I wanted, I wanted to apologize for Dustress earlier. He was out of line. No need to apologize, and no need to call me Lord. My Lord, I wanted... At least one of you knows her place. I have a great deal of respect for you. I just wanted you to know that. You... You radiate a, a power that Palladius, for all his ranting and demanding, never did. Do you find that power attractive? I don't know. It's terrifying. Anyway, if we want to make a stab at taking over Palladius' cult, we need a real headquarters. Somewhere you can speak, hold meetings. I hope you don't mind, but I, I took the liberty of finding a place. You've done well. Now tell me about this place. The place is called the Strell House, for a charity worker named Dagan Strell. The people look to him as a leader. He's been dead nearly a decade, but his name still means something. And I thought it couldn't hurt to have his name associated with yours. A well-known location can't hurt either. I'd considered that as well. It's both well-known and accessible. Of course. Aja, aja. If you mean the future leader of Lord Palladius' cult, then yes. I'll send your body back to your master in pieces. Nudja, ke chao joto do dead bita. Yo bana pihota mindia. Look at me, helping. That one's not getting up. Garnock, you defeated Palladius's right-hand man. You should hear it. They're calling you the great healer after your little trick curing the rot. Look what I found outside. 
my lord, for helping to cure our families and neighbors of the rot. We humbly present you with this gift. Keep your gift, and use it to better your lives. Thank you, my lord. You are most generous. Thank you. Isn't this great? Cure one lousy disease and you already got Palladius scared and people lining up with presents. No time for celebrating, Destris. Palladius isn't resting. He's called a big meeting at Meridian Hall. If we don't act, he'll rally his cult and stop our whole operation dead. Sounds like the perfect opportunity to present the virtues of my own cult. With all respect, these are Palladius' most faithful we're talking about. We need to show that you have more power in your little finger than Palladius has in his... Wait, I've got it! It's a crazy idea, but what if you showed that you could move the city itself, make a ground quake? I walk into Palladius' speech and make the very ground shake. I like it. What have you been putting in your soup, Riley? Nobody can just make this moon shake. Stick with me here. You know the gas pipes that run under Meridian Hall? Well, what if we blow up those pipes? Whoa. You got brains, girl. I know just the guy to set it up. Gord Maydell in the Nar Shaddaa Works Administration. Takes bribes on the side. He'll rig you something up, no problem. Your life depends on this, Destris. Gord works at the NSWA office in the Duro sector. Not far from Meridian Hall where Palladius is holding his big broadcast. You just tell him old Destris sent you. business. Kimem 
namgan bak umnok kijak. Laporam amka, mamni nikal. Nagnaya mamni kamgam. Obey or perish. Umnok inu memnu, amka kam mem herolak palak. Memua pemguana, kumia yang mem gamba paka. Umogala apayan. It's so much more fun for me when you refuse. Manalang yang perlu, amka kalami na yakira lebua. Memyuka hal hal krama, niknoga nalalu memnurak. Do you still hope to win? Mami lebik bak manuk, meraka naja ki nam ya bam yak. Memua pemguana, kumia yang mem gamba paka. You'd better follow through on this. Um nuk inu mem nu, am ka kam mem herolak palak kam perem ganam bagi yang manik hikup bukam. what the doctor ordered.
There is only one law for the weak as well as the strong, and that is power. For too long, the weak of Nar Shaddaa have grown soft in the luxury of their towers, while the strong have wallowed in chains. But I tell you, united, there is no law that can stop you. Take back what is yours. Yeah! <laughs> Never a truer word spoken, my friend. There are those who would tell you lies, who spread rumors and false promises. Already some among you are lost, having chosen the path of weakness. But you must shun this false messenger. The weak fear your growing strength and have sent him to break it. What makes you worthy of leading such a strong people, Palladius? Ah, the deceiver shows his face. Behold, my children, look how pathetic, how easily crushed by your collective might. The very ground you stand on responds to my will. Can Palladius do this? this? The world is ending! Don't be fooled! It's a trick! Attack the deceiver! Attack! Back soon. Amua Bonjiata. My lord, what happened? How did you? We never met anybody who could do what you did. Not Lord Palladius, not anybody. If you wish to serve me, go to the Strel House. My servants will see that you are brought into the fold. The Strel House? A good place. That Dagon Strel was a good man. But before you send us away, you share your wisdom and strength with us, so we can serve you. Forgive those who hurt you. Love and respect all, and you will bring honor to yourselves as well as to me. You're nothing like Palladius or anything I ever heard of. You're crazy. What will forgiveness get us? Ten more years in the gutter, that's what. It's not as if we got any higher up under Palladius. The gutter's the gutter. Besides... This one does what he says. He cured the rot. You're right. My lord, we will do as you say. We will forgive and tell others to do the same. Just what the doctor ordered. Sith, will you look at this place? 
Dagon Strel himself couldn't generate this kind of crowd, and neither can Palladius anymore from the looks of it. I really am the best. I'm guessing the Groundquake was a big help. My, my lord! I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. They said they'd kill me. They said they'd kill me if I didn't. Who said they'd kill you? Palladius's men. They said they'd kill me if I didn't bring you this. It looks like a hollow device. Let me see here. Ah, Sif. Good evening. How good to talk to you again. I'm sorry to use such an unconventional method to contact you, but I had to be sure you got the message. You understand? You have my attention. For now. Wonderful. You see, I've had a bit of a revelation. When you first attacked my cult, I took it very personally. And then I realized, you're Zash's apprentice. All this trouble is just about some silly artifact. Let's let bygones be bygones, hmm? We can meet at my place, in network access. We'll chat. I'll give you the artifact, and all will be mended. It would be my pleasure to take the artifact off your hands. I don't like it, and there's no way I'm walking into this guy's house. I promise. No tricks, or may I die creditless on Tatooine scrubbing a Jedi's back. Take time to consider my offer, but not too long or my good mood may sour. And bring your friends. Lying son of a hut. You're not seriously considering it, are you? You can't expect to go in there without there being some kind of trick. I'm not stupid enough to fall for that trick. No, don't you see? Sure, it's probably a trap, yes. But this is our chance to strike at him. Fine, but I'm going in with both eyes open. I impress 
just myself. Back soon. Aja, aja. Can't stay this pretty without learning some tricks. by me. You can find me around later. Destron, Rachel. I'm so glad you've come. You have made a wonderful decision. Can I offer you anything? A drink? And don't mind Varnock and Sharnock. They never leave my side. You know exactly what you can offer me. So confident. So amazingly confident. But I dare say you've gravely underestimated me. That painful twisting you feel in your gut is your essence draining rather rapidly. And that hollow sinking feeling, your connection to the Force being severed. Soon you will be no more powerful than little Denton here, or Ramona. For that you will suffer. <laughs> Not so powerful anymore, are we? Greater Sith than you have fallen before me. Did you think you were the first to try and steal my cult? I could choke the life out of you right now, but since you seem so very eager, let's settle this with lightsabers. What? What? How, how is this possible? You're stronger than any I have faced. Oh, forgive me, my... my lord. Take the artifact. Just let me live and carry on the cult in your name. I hate to break it to you, Palladius, but Darth Sash promised the cult to us. You're done. You're, you're very trusting, Destris. 
But surely my lord sees the advantage of leaving the cult in my hands. Think of what I could accomplish on your behalf. My lord, please. Can Palladius really be trusted? Stop your prattling. This cult is mine, and mine alone. With all respect, Sith, I know this Eye of Tulak is only one piece of the artifact you seek. Do you intend to give up your search and stay on Ashadar? Your master won't allow it. But simply hand control of the cult over to me, and I will be at your beck and call. Darth Zash promised the cult for Destris and Riley, and her word is mine. You foolish idealist! <laughs> Well, that was every bit as satisfying as I expected. We're in your debt, Riley and me. Only, the thing is, everyone in the cult looks up to you now. You will run this cult to my exact specifications. Don't worry about it. You can count on us. I guess I should go rally the cultists before they lose their fervor. Thanks again. Yes, thank you, Sith. We'd still be hiding in that hole if it weren't for you. I managed to obtain the artifact from Lord Palladius. And you gained your own cult in the process, or so I hear. You are quickly becoming quite the cunning Sith. Zash would never hurt me. You are naive. I have seen Zash making her preparations. She's taken two new apprentices, a boy named Carl and a girl named Corin. She's been sending them into the Dark Temple, presumably to confirm that I am gone. Zash has other apprentices. Yes. I assume they are meant to replace you. I considered killing these intruders, but I heard them speak of Zash and her desire that the chamber be secure for her work. Soon enough, Zash herself appeared. She comes every day now, studying the place and performing rituals. You are in danger. What kind of rituals? Minor ones. Preparations for something bigger. Zash knows your weaknesses. You must prepare yourself. An enterprising Sith Lord on Korriban has uncovered a piece of my old armor. My mask. It will protect you against Zash's onslaught. The Sith Lord's compound overlooks the tombs. Go. Claim it. Guard yourself against Zash's attack. I trust you will let me know if anything else develops. 
I cannot guarantee when I will be able to speak with you again. As I said, it is difficult for me to visit you. But I will continue to watch over my chamber in the temple, conserving my energy for when I learn something more. 